What stands out uh, is the balance of the rigor of the academic curriculum with a very reassuring, calming environment. Starting with the aesthetics of the university, I had an opportunity to walk around a little this morning, and it is as beautiful as I remember uh, all those years ago. And what that does, I think, for students is it is reassuring and very supportive that the environment that you're learning in really has to be one safe and it has to be welcoming uh, in terms of the beauty you can, uh, when it's a day like today, you can sit outside and study. The university is small with a broad reach uh, and a big heart. I'm uh, Tamara M. Campbell, uh, and I am the, I'm a practicing psychiatrist, and I'm the Executive Director of Office of Mental Health and Suicide Prevention for Veteran Affairs. I graduated from uh, Wittenberg University in 1982 uh, which a with a Bachelor's of Arts in Psychology. I think at eight years old, uh, I had a very personal understanding of loss and grief beyond book knowledge. Uh, and I think uh, that has allowed me to reach patients in a way that's different uh, than when you haven't had those experiences. Uh, my mom passed away uh, from breast cancer when I was a young child. And um, I remember she passed away in the summer. And I remember my dad took us to North Carolina. And um, I believe he understood that we needed a break from everything. We needed to be in a relaxing environment and just get away. Uh, the first lesson in mental well-being. Uh, again, my dad, without knowing or even having the language to understand what that trip uh, right after the funeral meant for us. And I think unconsciously, that, uh, that developed my calling uh, for what I do now. It's amazing what can come about um, from tragedy. If you have support, I had a great deal of support, and um, people who had a vision for my life beyond a tragedy, so that I don't define myself by a tragedy, that I use that to help literally now the world in, um, in the work that I'm doing currently. And so when we visited this campus, and we visit a lot of campuses, um, he said, this is a small campus. It's a beautiful campus. It's a safe campus. Small community, not a lot for a young, impressionable girl to get into, right? <laughs> Just lock down on your studies. And he was really impressed also when we came uh, to check in freshman year, that they actually had staff members to help us carry our luggage to our rooms. And so he was like, look at all the support. I mean, just that. But the university pays attention to details, that the details of how you um, bring your students' luggage in makes a difference to parents. You know, I, like at that point, I'm like, okay, they're helping me with my luggage. But my dad was able to say like, this is real support, how they're getting you uh, into your room, that um, they're gonna be looking out for you. This is my sorority pen here. It means a lot to me. I pledged while I was here Delta Sigma Theta this is the pin, and this is Omicron Theta, which is the chapter. I'm a Golden Life member. Uh, it is a uh, national, international sorority, philanthropic. One of the uh, point programs is mental health, uh, and so a lot of uh, positive memories with my sorority sisters and uh, positive things that we were able to do on campus. 
Dog tags is what they give you when you, uh, when you come into the service, and it is a way to identify you if something happens. And so um, I've kept them all these years uh, as a reminder of the service that um, people give and who aren't fortunate to come back. Uh, I was on the debriefing team during Desert Shield, Desert Storm uh, for Tactical Air Command when they first started bringing body bags back. And so I just remember the sacrifices that people make and families make, uh, and unfortunately those who don't come back. But I first certainly would like to thank my family, my husband, Anthony, who is also an Air Force veteran and has tolerated all of my changes of careers and uh, been just very supportive in everything that I've wanted to do. Uh, we have a daughter, a Capri, uh, an adult uh, now, who uh, is making her own way currently as an optometry technician. And so uh, she's uh, figuring out what she wants to do with that. And um, Dr. Evelyn Jones, who reached out to me uh, to reignite the spirit in me for Wittenberg, uh, um, Rosalind DeBose and uh, Dee Filey, uh, I believe, I understand, they were the ones who nominated me uh, for this award. I'd like to thank the nominating committee. I know there are many, many, many uh, talented, gifted people out there also deserving. I really appreciate the opportunity. I will certainly do my best in representing the school to the best of my ability. And just the many mentors along the way, I mentioned Dr. Wing, uh, Dr. Copeland, a uh, longtime friend and mentor, uh, Dr. Florence Coleman, more recently, uh, Dr. Elizabeth Brill, and uh, the United States Air Force and military, certainly Veteran Affairs, uh, uh, who have provided me unbelievable opportunity. Uh, I really appreciate it. And a special thank you, certainly, for my father, uh, Taswell Taylor Miller. Taylor is a family name. My daughter's middle name is Taylor, so we named her after him for certainly getting me on the right path and keeping me <laughs> on the right path and uh, setting the place here for me at Wittenberg.